One question that has to be asked about gospel patrons is, is it all about the money? I mean, there's money in, involved in fundraising and partnership and ministry, uh, but is it all about the money? And I would say, no, it's not all about the money. What gospel patrons are all about is partnership for the sake of the gospel. They're generous, they're involved, they're invested, but it's about partnership. When we look at history, we see that the great gospel patrons were invested financially and they were involved personally. That there was this resourcing, and the resourcing doesn't always have to involve money. It can mean coming alongside a person and supporting them, opening up a network of influence to them. It could be resourcing them with other tools and skills and expertise to help ministry go forward. But the point is partnership, the point isn't money. I mean, Christians are people who use money differently than the world. The world is chasing after money. But Christians are seeking first his kingdom, which means we use money to chase people for the sake of the gospel. And that means that when gospel patrons enter into these kind of ministry partnerships and they're strategically thinking about how can we advance the gospel, one of the questions that gospel patrons don't ask is, oh no, what's this gonna cost? That's the question of a donor. The question of a gospel patron is, what's it gonna take to get the job done? What is it gonna to take to finish the task, to do the work that God's called us to do? Well, let's just do that. Let's give to that. Let's, let's come alongside that. Let's make sure that we can see this thing move forward. And sometimes that's gonna involve writing a check. Other times it's gonna involve making an introduction to a friend. Other times it might be hosting an event. But there's a, there's a resourcing, a coming alongside in partnership so when we boil down gospel patrons, we boil it down to really three things, three marks, three key indicators of a gospel patron. Number one, it's gonna be resourcing, and that's generous, joyful, coming alongside to resource a person. The other is that personal involvement. It's a relationship, it's a partnership. It's not just sitting back and writing a check. It's not just philanthropy. There's a real investment of, of one's self in a gospel patronage partnership. And thirdly, it's about the gospel. It's about this news about Jesus that's changed our lives and is the news that the world needs to hear, that there is a savior and that's what we live for, that eternity is coming with him forever. And so we wanna announce that news and partner in that news and spread that news in any way we can. And, and sometimes that's gonna involve money and it's always gonna involve ourselves being involved, but we wanna see gospel patrons rise up who are generous, involved, and about the gospel.